Hi guys, welcome back to Coding with Caden. Today we will be learning how to code a sumo wrestling game in Scratch. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create two sprites which are both going to be squares of two different colours. I'm going to choose red and blue for this example, just so that we can tell the difference between both. I'm going to select no, back, uh, no outline here and I'm just going to create a square. I might make that a wee bit smaller. Put that size to maybe 70, that's a lot better. Okay, now we're just going to duplicate this sprite here. Go into costumes and say fill and go to red this time. There we go, that's us now got two identical sprites, same size, different colours. Okay, now we go into backdrops. We are actually going to choose this backdrop, a pre made backdrop for it, and we're going to go into this one called the light and select that. We're then going to place both of our other sprites at other edges of the circle. And basically, what's going to happen during this game is it's going to be a two player game, so one, the blue character is going to be controlled by WASD and the red character will be controlled by the up and down arrow as well as the right and left arrow. We are then going to when code that when the two collide they both bounce back and it's the first player to get a score of 5 I believe um, and they do so by knocking the other opponent off of the boundaries which is outside of the circle here. Okay, let's jump right into coding that now. So first we're going to code our blue sprite here and we're going to start off by coding its position at start and then movement throughout the game. We're going to start off by grabbing a when flag clicked block going to go into motion, say point in direction, we're going to say go to and then the select position that it's currently at. We're then going to go into control, say forever, if, going to go into sensing, say key and we're going to say for this W, so we'll just scroll down to find that here, W, then we're going to say in motion, move, and we're going to say two steps. We're then going to repeat this process by grabbing and duplicating. We're then going to say duplicate again, and duplicate once more. And then we're going to change this, the second one here to S and we're going to change this to minus 2 here. This is so that it goes down the way instead of up the way. We're then going to go into here and we're going to say D for our next one. I'm going to take out this move block and instead put in a turn to the right and we're going to say five degrees. We're then going to do a similar thing for the other one. This time it's going to be A and we're going to take this out again but say turn left five degrees underneath here. Fairly simple commands here. We're then going to move on to what's going to happen with the bounce back effect. So effectively this is going to make our player 
bounce back um, minus 50 steps but instead of it being just a jump back we're going to tell it to repeat a move five steps backwards in a selection uh, so a continuous movement instead of a start and stop so we're going to do this by going into events grabbing another when flag clicked we're going to say in control forever if we're going to go back into sensing but this time say touching we're going to say sprite 2 we're then going to say wait in control wait 0 0.1 seconds to let it register that you have touched the other player we're going to say repeat which is still in control here we're going to place that underneath our weight inside our if statement say 10 times going to go into motion and we're going to say move minus 5 because we're heading back the way 5 steps that's all we need to do for this one we're then going to move on to coding uh, what's going to happen when this player moves off off the boundaries so we're going to go down here and grab another when flag clicked we're then going to say forever if and sensing touching color and we're going to go and use the wee dropper tool and pick the out boundaries colour here we're then going to make some broadcasts in events by saying new message here and we're going to say back this is going to be our command here for moving back um, which we're going to code in a second of what that means okay so we're going to grab that we're going to say so broadcast back and we're also going to make another broadcast called point one so this is basically going to help us later set up a scoring system which we will do after we have done this code here we're then going to say when I receive message and we're going to say back so the back message here we're going to say go to so our starting position and we're going to say point in direction 90 degrees so this is basically setting us right back up where we started um, basically giving us a refresh here we're then going to go back into events we're going to create a new message and we're going to call it point two this is for the other sprite um, for the other sprite because we need to cross lapse the point system so I know that, that might sound confusing now but you'll get it soon enough so we're going to grab a when I receive point two we're going to go into variables we're going to create a score variable and this is going to be um, actually we're going to make it for this sprite only so we're just going to select here for this sprite only and make it score we're then going to make it a large readout here in this corner so we're then going to say change at point two we're going to say change score by one and then we're going to say wait one second because if we didn't see this then it would continuously keep on ranking up the score even if it had already touched the block once it would just continue to do it because it would think it was still touching the block so this prevents that from happening we're then going to for our final bit of this uh, for this sprite we're going to say 
when I receive, eh, uh, sorry, going to grab a when flag clicked, meant to say, going to say forever if in control, forever if. We're going to then go and get a greater than block from operators and place that inside our if statement. Going to go into variables, grab our score variable here and place that in the first slot of the greater than block. We're then in the second slot going to say 4. We're then going to say broadcast. So in events we're going to create another broadcast and this time we're going to call it player 1. So this basically allows us to tell them, well that's player 1, he's 1, uh, basically. Um, so we're then going to go into our red sprite here. And we're going to start off by saying when I receive flag clicked here. Um, actually, it would be a much better idea if we were to just grab this here and we were to drag and drop into a red sprite here. So we're then going to change this to sprite 1 or touching here and the rest will stay the same. We're then going to go back into our blue sprite and we're going to grab this and drag and drop. Basically everything needs to be a copy and paste with a few slight changes to it. So we're going to instead here say new message point 2 here. So broadcast point 2 instead of point 1. We're then going to say, um, we're then going to set up our scoring system for this by going and dragging and dropping our score block into the red uh, sprite here again. We're then going to create a new message and we're going to call that player2. So this is basically the, exactly the same as the last sprite but uh, we're just making the broadcast different. We're then going to go and grab the back block here as well and we're going to say, uh, so in here we're going to grab the back block and place that in there. Drag that down here and we're just going to change the what direction we're pointing in and uh, where we're going to. So we're just going to say go to and then our position currently and we're going to switch this so that it's at minus 90 or 270 degrees. We're then going to go and say here, grab this, duplicate it into there but this time we're going to say when I receive point 1 here and we're going to change and um, we're going to make that a different score as well oh. we've actually got to change a uh, here so our score sprite here is going to have to be uh, we're going to have to delete this and delete the two ones that go along with it because we need to make it score and for this sprite only which I thought I'd clicked last time but clearly I hadn't so for this sprite only and then we're going to drag and drop that into there and change score by one into there. We're then going to go back into here, going to get rid of this, we're going to say, oh man, uh, we're going to delete this variable 
and we're just going to say score here for this sprite only. So that should be all sorted out with both scores. We're then going to put in change my score, yeah, so score here by one, and then grab the score block and place it into here just like the other one. We're then going to have to get the um, movement blocks in. So effectively the same as the last one up here, but again with a few slight changes. Just going to grab this and move it down here. So that we have enough room to code it. Going to change to 270 degrees or minus 90. Going to change the go to block as well. We're also going to change the keys and what they mean. So up arrow, move two steps. Down arrow. Right arrow. And then left arrow. And that is the exact same there with all of the different movement blocks. That's all we need for that. And then that, all we need to do now is just change a couple of things here. And then we should be set. Um, so here we're just going to say set score to zero is all we've got to do left in both of these sprites here. So we're just going to say set score in here, why not, set score to zero. Then we're going to start the game and say you wanted to play first to five or first to three, whatever, but we're going to check if the scores and the bouncing and everything works and it does let's see if the scoring works again yep so that's worked there and then we're just going to bounce that again and that's worked again all right if you guys enjoyed today's video and um, please give it a like subscribe down below turn on notifications and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment down below what you want to see. But until then, bye.